Welcome back, guys, to Dustin Elysian Town, where we take a brief respite to shelter from the storm before heading back out and seeing how on earth we get back up. Though, with a swooping platform coming down right there and then, it made it pretty easy for us. That's for sure, but making it further onwards from here, that's another story. Okay, I fell onto the lovely platform. I was hoping for that. And then, surely, just make it up and through. Auto save point, but where's our shop guy? That's what I want to know. To be honest, with all the equipment we've been buying, I am here to serve. We should probably be selling some as well, because, well, all the lovely upgrades we've been getting cost money to get. So, with that in mind, let's make a little bit of cash back. Don't you think? With all our lovely upgrades, even with the regen they provide, I don't mind. Well, actually, it seems to be chest armors that give us the most money back, which I like quite a bit. What, we keep the ring of sight, the ring of the scavengers can go, because we've got at least two three times drop rings. In fact, we've got three, which we don't need, so there we go, get rid of them. Master ring of wealth, meh. And the master ring of the broken, we can get rid of as well, because we have two master ring of focuses, and they're better, 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 better. We can sell some teleport stones, or we can sell a cooler, really, but... I'm not bothered with that. Let's keep on heading upwards then with a little bit more money to our Your name. Transaction is most appreciated. Just to make sure we can craft even more stuff if we find anything else. But our destination point is not far away. No treasures here, which is weird in my opinion anyway. There there was a road here. I remember it before that day. A road right here, you say? Well, I was just checking out because of the dead-end nature of it. See if there was anything like monsters or something like that, because we're about to level. Look, up ahead. A village. All the way up here? Do you think it's that moonblood camp Kane was talking about? No, it's something else. It's en enough talking. Let's get up there. I'm a bit worried about you meeting moonbloods. They might know who you are, they really might. Halt! What? No. Impossible! Cassius! What did you call me? Who are you? What are you doing in this place? You... You were dead! No. No, this is not possible. I don't know what demon you are, but you will not step any closer! Kill this... thing! Okay, well, someone else come in from the sides, but with our fidget powers, I'm sure we can take them out. Ow! They hurt a lot. They seem to approach me to parry me, and man, do they hurt when they hit. Well, fidget. Seems you're the best person for breaking through these crowds. There we go, even though he parried me or blocked me or whatever he did. Smash through. Why destroy such a peaceful place? We didn't want any of this. Gus, what are you talking about? And who is Cassius? That's not... It's not my name. I'd remember it. I'd know it when I heard it. Oh, well, this is weird. Alright then, another skill gem available. I'm tempted to put on more defense because of how much... Yeah, I'm just going to do it because we're level up so fast at the moment. Just based on how much... Whomping we got there on just singular hits. Hmm, which takes us up to a grand total of 752 defense. Nice, nice. We'll equip some chicken and nicely top us up just in case there's any more soldiers. We reach Zeplich Village. Anyone here? I doubt it. Looks like this place has been destroyed for quite some time. A year, actually. Huh? How do you know that? This was Ginger's village. I was here one year ago. According to Fuse, according to Ginger, I helped murder everyone in this village. Oh, dust. But I don't remember any of it. I remember this place, but it feels like it's been more than a year. Aro, what does it mean? It only means that things are not as they seem. Explore the village further, Dust. Let us see what secrets it hides. Well, I'll start looking, but I think the revelation's about upon us, don't you? This house. Do you remember? 
for something, Dust? This is impossible. What is? Let's head inside. Well, complete darkness, maybe. Dust? How? Do you see now? But how, Ara? I don't understand. The answers lie above, Dust. Finally, answers for us. They were just wondering what's this way. Not above us in jumping out, then. Where are we? Ginger. She was sleeping right here. On the night I came to say goodbye. But I hesitated. I didn't want to wake her. Didn't want her to worry about me. She couldn't know what I was about to do. Dust, what are you saying? She couldn't know that I was about to go avenge our parents. You mean, you're... But how? What's going on here? I... I remember now. But how? How can I have helped destroy this village, but be a victim of that same act? That's impossible. Only impossible for a creature with a single soul. Ginger. Those eyes. I know those eyes. So, Mithrarin, you finally see the truth. Who are you? I am Elder Grey Eyes, leader of the Moonblood people. Well, what's left of them, that is. What did you mean just then, that I can finally see the truth? What do you know about me? His eyes, Elder. They're Jin's eyes. They do look remarkably similar to your brother's, yes. That is because his soul lives on within dust. What? However, to suit our needs, we required two souls. A soul of innocence is a noble thing, but without skill, without power, dust would have been struck down just as easily as your brother was on that fated day. No. So we combined your brother's soul with that of his murderer, the royal assassin known as Cassius. They perished at the same time, forever entwined. Never before had I heard of such an event. You murderer! My parents did nothing wrong! You have been deceived, little one. Your parents turned against their king. An act of pure treason. What resistance there was, was led by your family alone. You destroyed my village! Murdered my friends and family! You will not survive this day! I take no joy in slaughtering one as young as you, child. But you have forced my hand. A grave injustice was done that day. Cassius murdered a defenseless djinn, but his pride and arrogance proved to be his undoing. But how? How can this... this thing be my brother? It's not possible. I couldn't even remember you when we met. You are djinn, yes. But you are also Cassius. Two souls, forever at odds. One of innocence, one of power. Together you form the one we call Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust. I never knew what happened. Jin just disappeared one night. I had always hoped he would turn up alive someday, that he would come back. But could you really be him? Ginger, I don't know. I... I don't know. Now, Dust, I imagine you have many questions. Please, do not hesitate to ask them. Who, or I guess, what am I? You are what my people call Sen Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust, created from the essence of the life thread itself. You see, my people have been on the verge of extinction for a great many years. 
General Gaius planned to eradicate us once and for all. And while our warriors are proud and strong, what chance would we have against such a powerful foe? To defeat General Gaius and save our people, we would need a warrior capable of standing against an entire army. This warrior would also need to be pure of heart, incorruptible. So that's why you picked Cassius and Jin. Just like you said, opposites. Exactly. Cassius was one of the greatest warriors this world has ever seen. And Jin's purity of heart would help guide our warrior to save our kind. From their fallen souls, you were born. Born to save us. To save this world. Why did I only remember now? I didn't even recognize Ginger when I met her. You may possess the souls of two separate beings, but your body and mind are your own. You were created to save this world, so we felt giving you memories of either soul would simply distract you from the task at hand. I had no idea who I was, what my purpose was. You say that, but in all cases you did exactly what we intended you to do. You saved complete strangers outside of Aurora Village. You stopped our wayward brother Fuse from destroying all that we sought to save. You saved Mudpot and brought the waters of life back into this land. You purged a demonic rage from this land and even helped two old souls find peace once more. You may not have known your purpose, but that did not stop you from fulfilling it. And now I'm here. Yes, now you are here. And we can finish this fight once and for all. Who was Fuse? He said he was a Moonblood, but he looks nothing like you. Fuse. He was once a fine warrior, and a close friend of Ginger's family. He would help transport goods between this village and our camp. After the village was destroyed, I guess he lost his mind. He was horribly disfigured after the attack. The only way he could survive was in a special suit of magical armor that I helped to construct. He demanded we attack General Gaius right away, but I would not hear any of it. He would have killed us all in the name of vengeance. We would not have stood a chance. When I refused to send our warriors into battle, he called me a coward and vowed that he would destroy Gaius with or without my help. I fear the very armor we made to save his life had corrupted his mind and body beyond repair. Poor guy. If only we could have gone through to him somehow. No, you're right to kill him. If he had remained alive, there's no telling what damage he could have done. Ginger is right. Fuse was beyond saving. For all our sakes, I hope the same is not true of the world he sought to protect. How does the Blade of Ara fit into all this? What is it, exactly? It is one of the five blades of Elysium, ancient weapons forged when our kind were many, and the way of the flameless light was commonplace. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck is the way of the flameless light? A path we Moonbloods continue to follow. It is a way of living, a way of thought that allows us to make use of a power both old and great. Magic without magic. I am so confused. Surely, as Nimbat Sword Guardian, you've studied the ancient doctrines. You must know, in the event that the sword is summoned by its rightful owner, you are obligated to follow. I may have skipped over that chapter? You haven't answered my question. The blades of Elysium were created to guide their sword-bearer's dust. I was summoned to your side to ensure our balance was maintained between the souls within you. Ah, my old friend. It is good to hear your voice once more. It has been a long time, Master. Wait just a second. How can you possibly know each other? My clan's been keeping the sword hidden for over 200 years. Master Grey Eyes has lived for a very long time, Fidget. Longer than any of you. So you were sent to keep an eye on me? To help you reach your true potential. Nothing more. I have no more questions. What now? 
You must join us in the Moonblood Camp to the north in the Everdawn Basin. That isn't anywhere near the Everdawn Volcanoes, is it? They are one and the same, yes. Well, that's fantastic. Volcanoes? Indeed. What a better place to hide than in the most volatile land in all the kingdom. Oh, I know. How about a peaceful meadow? Or a quiet forest? Or someplace that doesn't explode every ten minutes? Dust, your friend seems awfully tense. No, I'm fine. Come on, let's go to the Blowy Up Mountains. Really, I'm serious. Fidget, you need to have more faith in me. I'll have faith in you when you have faith in yourself. How about it, huh? Who are you? Really? I am... I... Uh... You see? You still haven't figured it out yet! The lizard guy tells you right to your face, and you still don't know! Fidget, please calm down. You mustn't test your friend like this. I just... <sighs> if I'm gonna follow you to the literal end of this world, I need to know who I'm following, and why. I understand, Fidget. You're right. I can't ask you to follow me. But I can. Fidget, you have stood by Dust's side for this entire journey. You have watched him save this world. How can you continue to doubt? I just don't get it. It doesn't matter who he thinks he is. He's Dust. That's who he is. That's who I know. Fidget, please. I can't do this without you. Can you, uh... Can you repeat that? I said I can't do this without you. I'm sorry. I just... Nobody's ever said that to me before. And it won't be the last time, I assure you. Are you ready, Mithrarin? I am. Then we will meet you in the Everdawn Basin. Goodbye, Dust. We'll see you there. So we have learned a lot, a lot indeed. Well, that was a lot to take in. So, our name in essence is Mithrarin, but to be honest, we are dust, as dust can ever be. With the souls of good and evil mixed together to make the ultimate warrior? It's all a bit crazy, that's for sure. Well, it seems we can head straight out of town now. General Gaius? What news, Commander? I did not want to believe it, but Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that... wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology. And we have the element of surprise. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Cassius, my old friend, so long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. Well, it's not us that needs saving, but the Blackmore Mountain's not completely completed. I mean, that suspicious hourglass has definitely something to do with it. The glade still has the new marker on it. But at one point or some point, we're going to actually have to come back and 100% all these places, that's for sure. Maybe there's more abilities to gain, though, in the Everdawn Basin. Let's check out the terrain. It's chapter 5. Legend begins. So then, whoa, lava around as well. A new region has been revealed on top of that. Is that a new region apart from this one? Halt! Who goes? Oh, it's 
you. Apologies, Miss Rock. Please enter. Well, we've been given leave to enter the village, it seems. Well, I'm going to continue on. Look at all the soldiers going past us as well. The next episode to see what's truly going on here. Maybe we'll also figure out the mystery of the Hourglass Mountain. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.